What's up friends, Dan here, and today I wanna to talk to you about the most important thing when it comes to setting up your IDE for text editor. And that's of course, the theme. All right, well I joke a little bit, but it's the first thing that we notice. It's the first thing that makes us feel like it's ours. And that's why we customize it. And that's why it's usually the first thing that you start to tweak when you install a new editor or IDE. So today what I, want to, what I want to talk to you about is the theme that I use. And the reason I want to talk to you about it is because the last couple of conferences and meetups and tutorials that I put online, the number one question that I keep getting is what theme do you use? So spoiler alert, I'm not going to make you wait. The theme is called Synthwave 84. And it has this cool little feature where you can add glow to, like a glow outline to your so we're gonna do a couple of things today. One, I wanna show you how to get that theme, how to enable that glow and, and maybe configure it a little bit. Two, I want to show you how to go ahead and find some themes of your own. Uh, you can go out there and just search for Visual Studio Code theme, but there are ways within the editor, so within Visual Studio Code, to actually find uh, the most popular themes or the latest things, news releases. And so we'll take a look at those. Finally, I wanna take a look at a website that will show you themes in um, a gallery style. So you'll have your most popular themes. Uh, maybe you want a dark theme, maybe you want a light theme. Uh, visually, a way to go ahead and look at a bunch of themes and see if one of those kind of fits for you. And finally, just like how to switch between three themes in Visual Studio Code. So we'll take a look at all of that and we'll do it right after this. All right, so here I am in Visual Studio Code and this is my current theme, which is called Synthwave 84. And so if we do a quick search for it over on the extensions tab, we can do search Synthwave 84 and we'll get some more information on this. So I'll come back to this in a second because I want to show you something, but if we go into, say, a JavaScript file here, we have kind of this purple, this blue, this orange. Um, I really like this look, but there's one more addition that Synthwave 84 gives us, and that's these, this neon glow around certain keywords. So if we go back to the extension and take a look at this, this kind of used to be a pain in the butt. You had to install another extension. You had to set up some uh, custom CSS and you had to like enable this. You had to go through a couple of hoops, but what we're trying to do is get this nice little glow effect. And if you look down here, it says to enable glow as of 0.1.0, .0, external extensions or are no longer needed to activate the glow, which is awesome. So if you're a Windows user, uh, you, you got to make sure that you're running with administrator privileges. Uh, for Linux and Mac users, code must not uh, code must be installed in a read-only location, and you must have write permissions. So all you want to do is um, so we have to disable the prior stuff if you were using that prior one. If not, don't worry about that. All you need to do is enable Neon Dreams. So we're gonna go ahead and close that, come back over here, I'm gonna open main.js, I'm gonna hit shift command P on the Mac, and I'm gonna say enable neon dreams, and you need to restart the editor for this to work. Now once we do, we get this nice little glow. So I'm a huge fan of this theme, again, Synthwave 84, it's the one I use all of the time, uh, and I always get comments on it, people asking what theme that is, how do you get that glow, and so I'm a big fan of Synthwave 84. Now, if you want to know how to change this, you can come up to um, code here, go to preferences, you can change the color theme, and you can start to scroll through and find different themes that you might like. Um, once you, you can also type in and say, all right, I'm gonna stick with Synthwave 84. Now, if you wanna find a theme, maybe you don't like this one, maybe you want a light theme, maybe you want just different colors, you can head over to the extensions tab and you can, you can search for theme. 
And you're just going to have to start going through here. So um, this is another cool one. Winter is coming. And you can start to find these and just in Psalm if you want. But something else you can do is you can actually go up to this little three little dots here. And we can start to sort these. So I want to I want to sort by install count. So this is going to tell me that this is like the most popular theme. So as I start to click through here, you can see 3.5 million um, one of those. Um, one Dark Pro, uh, Material Theme, Dracula. These have been around for a while. You can also um, sort by or show popular extensions. So you can say theme, and then that would come up. Um, so that is uh, pretty cool. And you can also search for ratings. So if people have come in here and rated, let's go ahead and sort by rating. And Sarah Drasner's Night Owl is highly rated. Awesome theme here. Um, you can go ahead and install that if you want. So that is the uh, list of, of popular themes that you can install by rating. What we're going to look at now is one more uh, by going over to a website that I like called vscodethemes.com. And if you go in there, you can, instead of like having to kind of sort and filter through all the different extensions in the extensions tab, you can actually get a visual representation of what's going on here. So we have some trending themes, we have dark themes, and we have light themes. And you can just start to scroll through here. And if you see one that you like, this pop and lock, that looks pretty cool. This is actually the first time I've seen that one. That looks nice. So I want to view extension. Um, it'll actually show it up in, uh, show a little bit larger view of that. And then you can actually open this in VS Code. So I can go, oh, pop and lock. I like that. So as I'm looking at this now, I may give this a shot. That looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. And once it installs, uh, it goes ahead and sets it. And it looks like there's like a couple different types of themes, which is cool. Um, and it sets it here and activate, all right. And so now I can go back over to my code. And wow, that's kind of like really out there and bright, but I do like it. Uh, so maybe I'll try that a couple times. So those are just a few resources, again, when it comes to using your text editor, uh, something like Visual Studio Code, you really want to be comfortable there. And uh, being able to customize it as your own uh, gives you your own kind of like feel, look and feel, um, kind of represents who you are. Uh, so themes are a really great way to get started with Visual Studio Code. And I hope in this lesson you are able to find a couple different ways uh, to find some themes that, that may fit you. So, as always, if you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, friends, happy coding.